Namaste, Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi, my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens. Happy Merry Christmas Eve, okay? For those of you that are celebrating today uh, for the Christmas Eve holiday, be safe. Make sure that you guys are paying attention to your surroundings, okay? Make sure you guys are enjoying yourself and make sure you guys are mastering your mind and your thoughts, staying in high vibrations, okay? So, when I was connecting to your energy, I heard a weird message, okay? I heard that somebody, somebody here, uh, is all of a sudden, somebody here is having an out of body experience, or it's all of a sudden, somebody here that you're dealing with has conjured up some sort of dark energy mm, in their space, in their home, wherever they are, this person's all of a sudden, they're going to see something supernatural is happening in this person's life, all right, this person is now a believer, okay, so uh, this is the message I'm getting, you may, you, you, Aries, male or female, whoever you are, you could have Aries in your chart, sun, moon, rising, north, north, or Venus, you could be dealing with an Aries, and this reading might resonate, you could be any sign, this reading can resonate, okay, But what I heard is like suddenly somebody is going to call you. You're going to get a sudden shocking phone call from someone. Okay. And this person is spooked because you made this person into like this person is a believer now. Whether you made this person a believer or like you could have warned somebody to stop tampering with the occult things. You could have warned somebody that that stuff is going to backfire on them. You could have warned somebody that you know, conjuring negative thoughts and energy could backfire on them or something. You could have been trying to teach somebody, you know, that they that they should be using their gifts for the right reasons or purposes. And somebody here is having some sort of out-of-body experience. And suddenly an entity shows up in this person's space. And all of a sudden this person is seeing this entity manifest in front of them. And this person is having an out-of-body experience. This person is spooked. So somebody's going to call you, reach out to you, and this person's going to be hysterical or frantic, or they're going to be confused, they're going to be in fear, they're going to be scared, and they're going to tell you that they've seen something supernatural, okay? But you, you were trying to tell this person that the supernatural things are real, okay? That they shouldn't be tampering with the occult, that they shouldn't be coming for you or other people, all right? Or that whatever they did to you is going to manifest back to them. You could have warned somebody and they continue to do what they were doing in your energy. And this person is going to have some sort of out-of-body experience, supernatural event. Something's going to appear in this person's reality in their actual home or their environment. This person is spooked out and they're going to call you because now this person's a believer of what you told them. Now this person believes in your supernatural gifts and abilities now this person is a believer of your ancestors, okay? So this person doesn't want no this person doesn't want no beef with you, no quarrel with you. This person doesn't want black blood with you. This person just is trying to shake it off of the experience that they had and they're literally going to try to make peace with you. You can make peace with this person, but you can't invite this person to your home. All right? I'm going to say that again. Whoever you are, you can make peace with this person because God wants all of us to make peace with one another, right? Surrender our our shadow side, surrender our, our um, emotions or bad blood with other people, forgive, let go, and heal, right? But even though this person is going to contact you and you know this person has been doing the most, you can forgive this person or whatever. You can, um, you can forgive this person. You can pray for this person and everything else that you want to do. You can do a prayer protection for them and everything because they're going to need it. But one thing you can't do is invite this person over to your house because this energy has attached to this person's. This person um, is uh, consumed by some sort of dark spirit or en entity that they conjured up because they were manifesting this entity in their mind with all their evil thoughts and intentions towards you or whatever else they were doing in the occult, okay? Right now, you guys are in the energy of mastering your thoughts or you need to be in this energy of mastering your thoughts because what you think, what you believe will manifest, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. This person thought they could defeat you, take you out. They could conjure up something dark and send it to you, do spell work, whatever they was doing. They thought they could get away with this, but what happened was is that that 
entity or energy manifested in their own life, okay? Because this person was so consumed with this dark energy towards you, all right? So mastering your thoughts and your gifts are very powerful. So your gifts are very powerful. Whoever you are watching this video, your gifts are very powerful. And there's a group of people... There's a secret society, there's a group of people, there's a coven of witches, there's uh, karmics in your family, there's exes here. They all know that your gifts are very powerful. And they also know that your thoughts are very powerful, that you're a powerful alchemist and master magician, manifester, right? So, and these people also know that if you get, if they get you in your head, if they can put you in mental prison, if they can orchestrate a whole bunch of negative things to happen around you, right? If they can block your light by causing you conflict and projecting chaos into your life and fear, they know they can trap you in a negative mindset. They know they can trap you by having you manifest these things into your reality, okay? Because when you get stuck in your head, when you start having negative thoughts, that's exactly what you're going to create in your energy, in your environment, because that's how powerful your thoughts are, because you're a master magician alchemist, okay? So now there's been a huge shift. There's a huge shift going on in your energy, in your life, but there's a huge shift going on in the planet, okay? Because I've been doing, I've been watching a lot of informational videos. I've been getting a lot of downloads from my ancestors that there's a huge shift going on with our planet, with our universe, okay? With the energies. All right, so I picked up on an energy, on a message that there's higher frequencies and vibrations being sent to earth from the sun, okay, these higher vibrational frequencies, they like to call them solar flares, I think they call them solar flares, but what, what the solar flares really are is higher vibrational frequencies coming down to earth, so now whoever's on earth that's low vibrational, that's dark spirited, demonic, that's not being positive, that's promoting hate and violence, that's out here doing these things, spell work, hmm, these people, they're not going to get through this huge shift that we're going through, that the planet is going through. They're not going to make it through the shift. All right. There's a huge event that's coming. And these people are going to be the first ones to lose their mind and take one another out. Or literally just like have some sort of body shutdown. That's what I heard. So the people's bodies are going to be shutting down. If they're in low vibrations, because they will be rejected by Mother Earth, they will not be able to withstand the, all the uh, high vibrational frequencies and energies that are coming to our Earth at this time. Extra dimensional beings of light are assisting Mother Earth um, reject all these negative energies and purge them out. Okay, so Mother Earth is purging out negative energies. You guys are purging out negative energies. So there's something in our solar system with the planets and all that stuff. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm like, I don't teach astrology. I'm not a master at astrology, but I would love to be. I, I've been studying that, but I'm not an astrologist, but I'm telling you there's something going on in the ethers, in the, with the planets, with the zodiacs, signs and everything else, whatever's going on is going to create a huge event. And it's, and the, it's been like high vibrational frequency of energies hitting earth. So a lot of people are waking up. A lot of people are expanding their mind. A lot of people are doing holistic healing methods. A lot of people are meditating. A lot of people are connecting with their higher selves. So this is exposing a lot of the darkness on earth. A lot of people are shining their light on darkness, okay? So this was meant to happen around this time, all right? So somebody here is going to get a shocking phone call from somebody that had a whole entity or energy manifested in front of them because they were doing some conjuring, some dark energy to send it towards you. Now they're a believer, all right? I'm a believer. They're a believer now that you are the empress and that you are who you say you are, male or female. And somebody's going to rush towards you. This is the Nine of Swords in reverse, though. Keep that in mind. This person did a lot of darkness towards you. This person sent you a lot of evil eyes. This person slandered your name. This Knight of Swords in reverse. Does, it could be somebody younger than you. It doesn't have to be. But this person has conjured up something dark. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What is this energy spirit? 
Mm. You are starting a new cycle in your life. You're expanding yourself. You are uh, having a lot of accomplishments and achievements. All right. Your wish fulfillment is here. Somebody here, you're going to travel or take a vacation or somebody here is uh, celebrating something, a major event that's happening. There's a blessing coming into your life because you work for this. Okay. Because you transform your energy because you change your thoughts. All right. Your thinking patterns are very important. Okay. Somebody's son here in the reverse. Somebody's child or son. They could be going through something, okay? Somebody who has a son could be going through something, the son in reverse. This could be a Leo, somebody you're walking away from this Leo, all right? You're moving forward. Mm, the star in the reverse, Aquarius energy, all right? Some of you guys could have a son. They could be an Aquarius, and they could be going through something mentally, emotionally, or spiritually, and this son is going to have a spiritual breakthrough. This son is going to break through all the blockages or the barriers. This could be a Leo or an Aquarius. doesn't have to be. It could be Pisces here. All right, or this is somebody here that wanted to see you down and out, that wanted to take down a star, that didn't want to see you shine and be successful here. So remember, you have to have positive thoughts about yourself, positive energy all the time. You have to think highly of yourself, manifest those things, I am affirmations, and walk away from anybody with chaos, conflict, negativity, dark thoughts, all right, seeking revenge, trying to destroy your foundation. Somebody was really trying to destroy your foundation, all right, with the page of cups, all right, this is somebody that's like, um, create, like, I don't know, somebody that's bringing you some news, this could be a messenger, this could be a message coming through from the page of cups, this could be some happy surprise, somebody's gonna surprise you, all right, you can have a creative opportunity coming towards you, and this is starting a new cycle for you, all right, you could be expanding, somebody here, you could be buying a home, or selling a home, all right, or selling a property, or buying a property. Somebody here, you're getting a new property or you're uh, obtaining this with all your hard work and effort. Congratulations to you. Here there is a karmic couple in the reverse. There's a queen of cups and the king of swords in the reverse. All right. This, is a, this could be a karmic couple or this could be two different individuals in your energy that ha are not doing so well. Okay. Because they're reaping what they've sold. They've been on low vibrational energy. They've been projecting that energy onto you. I heard Sylvia... Troy, Trevor, Andy, Catherine, there's somebody, there's a queen of cups in the reverse, this could be a mother figure, this could be a female that has been strategically doing something uh, for a long time to try to slow you down, take you out, destroy your love life, destroy you and your, uh, and this king of swords was a part of this whole situation. So this could be a sister, a mother, this could be a brother, a father, this could be an ex, this could be the ex's karmic. Whoever these two people are in your energy, they're in low vibration, they're under judgment. Something could be happening with this person's son or child, okay, or something is happening in these people's lives with their family members because they was doing too much. And the truth came out to the light about what they were sending you. If they were using the phone moon energy against you... Then they're highly mistaken because the devil card is here, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn. If they were doing something with the full moon energies, okay, that just came and um, really backfired onto them. All right. And yeah, this person is fueled by negativity. This person is fueled by hate and pride and ego. All right. They're, they were so upset that you removed the Ten of Swords, that you healed from the betrayals, that you got back on your feet and kept going, that you are a true warrior of light and you're a survivor. You're a healer. So whatever they've been sending you, you can heal yourself from it. All right. Somebody's going to try to come back around now. Because you removed the swords. And like I said before, somebody's going to call you. They're going to they're gonna come back around. They're going to need your assistance. This person knows you're spiritually gifted. They know you're a healer and an empath. They know you got the abilities to heal yourself from whatever they've been doing. But they keep pretending they don't know who you are. They keep pretending that they don't know you're gifted. They keep acting stupid around you. All right? But when this uh, terror moment hits their life, mm, when somebody like this entity manifests right in front of someone's eyes, Mm -hmm. that's when they're going to be forced to reflect with the hangman in reverse somebody's somebody's like a dark empath somebody's refusing to take responsibility for what they've been doing all right and somebody else has been keeping options somebody could have offered you something this could be a partnership this could be for work this could be for love but somebody here has been keeping options and making you think or believe that you're the only one. This person lied. They have multiple op options or other people that they deal with or give their energy to. That's a side no note, a side message for somebody here. 
the Knight of Swords, uh, the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, and the and then you're coming out victorious with the Six of Wands. All right, so you're riding off victory, success, something's going in your favor. The Knight of the Knight of Pentacles is stuck in the reverse over here, dealing with some sort of uh, karmic mother figure or karmic uh, family members, or this person just in karmic energy. And this could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. There's a King of Swords here as well, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, but yeah, you don't want to be a part of this person's life anymore. You don't want this person to drag you down anymore. You don't want to believe this person's lies. This person played too many games, all right, and they are stuck by themselves. The night, uh, I mean, the death card, Scorpio energy, you had a death and rebirth and you're moving forward, all right? Somebody could be passing. My condolences if you're going through a loss. If you're losing somebody around the holidays, my condolences to whoever you are because I picked up on that message, but you have the Ten of Cups here. You are going to be rewarded. All right, from this karmic queen of wands, Aries Leo or Sag, karmic queen of wands, working up against you, doing the most. Mm. They're all, they're all, they're all trapped in a dark timeline, but you are receiving an opportunity for success, for expansion. All right, leveling up with the emperor here, sitting on your throne. All right, you're receiving an opportunity to manifest whatever, you, whatever it is that you want to co-create. All right, somebody could be reaching out to you. They have an offer for you. Maybe they want to offer you something. Okay, and you also have somebody that's your past life soulmate that's coming towards you, getting ready to give you an offer. All right, if you are not with your past life soulmate, then this is going to happen because you have healed your heart chakra. You have put yourself in a position for love, all right, to be loved and to give love. This is what you are attracting. Archangel Raphael is helping you heal from past events. Somebody could be 38, all right? The number 35, somebody could be 35, first chakra, Archangel Michael. Somebody's name could be Michael, somebody's name could be Ralph, Ralphie. All right, the thinking man, all right, this person is really thinking about how they're going to come towards you with this offer. This person is really preparing some sort of offer for you guys, male or female. Somebody could be 46, 45, 44. I heard Angel, Angela, Angie, Jason, Jesse. Tammy, Tamara, Seven Chakra Archangel Uriel is protecting your crown chakra. 41, do, do some crown chakra meditations or do some chakra clearing meditations. You know, you can cleanse your, your crown chakra with coconut milk as a ritual of protection for your crown chakra. Somebody's obsessed with your looks, your beauty, the energy you walk in. Somebody's just obsessed with you, period. And they became like, I don't know, they became obsessed, but they also became very scorned or bitter. So, yeah, pay attention to that sort of energy. A cousin, this could be a cousin that's in low vibrational, that's in low vibration, okay? A cousin that's obsessed with you, a cousin that wants to slow you down, a cousin that's trying to look like you or be you. There could be a cousin that knows the truth about your family, all right? For somebody watching, your cousin could know the truth about your uncle being your real father. Mm. So somebody watching your cousin uh, could have signed the paper pretending to be you to gain some sort of access to some money or information. This could have been a sister or a cousin. All right. They've been working with the Agent Smiths here. The blockages are removed. Surprise engagement. Somebody's going to su surprise you with an engagement, a father figure or a dad could have been working with these Agent Smiths too. All right. Mm. Somebody here is texting their ex or texting your ex. They've been doing this. Let's try again. Now somebody wants to try to harm, like, come and trap you. Somebody wants to try to deceive you. Let's try again. And I heard, oh, my, this is what I just heard. We really need to get their signature, all right? So let's tell them they're signing this paper for this reason, but it's for something else. So they really need you to, they really need to get your signature. They really need you to sign some sort of document. And they're going to try to, ban, like, bamboozle you saying that oh sign this paper it's for something else but don't sign that paper whoever you are don't sign that paper for your family because it's over a house they want your happy home they want this property or asset deceitful family members coming out i cannot make this up under judgment here all right over a lot of money ace of pentacles that you're about to receive Somebody's a real cheater, and my phone just started ringing during this reading, so that's confirmation that you guys are going to get an important phone call, all right? So just pay attention when somebody's talking to you. They're telling on themselves, or they're telling on everybody. They're trying to tell you something. They're trying to give you a message. They don't know how to say it, so they're going to, you know, somebody's going to beat around the bush, but they're going to say something. It's going to it's gonna give you a message. Pay attention. Somebody's been working with their ex-wife, or somebody's ex-wife is delusional under judgment here. Inheritance. 
trust fund is coming out. Daughter, somebody's daughter here. Mm -mm. Love spells, um, I don't know, somebody's daughter passed away and this daughter's still with you in the spirit realm. This daughter's protecting you, giving you messages. And if this daughter is not passed away, then somebody's daughter here knows some sort of truth about some sort of inheritance or trust fund here. With a mother figure keeping things hidden, this mother figure's under judgment or this mother figure's being forced to do the right thing or tell you the truth. This mother figure could have been traveling to pay a practitioner, all right, with this group of witches and warlocks, all right? They're under judgment. Now this entity that they manifested, manifested for you is popping up, is manifesting right in front of these, this karmic mother figure's eyes or this karmic king of, uh, king of swords' eyes or whoever the heck this person is that manifested this, conjured up this dark energy. They were working with a crooked lawyer, but your brother could have known the truth and your auntie. They were working with a crooked lawyer to steal something from you. It could have been a family business, a family home or property. Could have been money. Family business is getting exposed. A sudden change is here. A sudden shift in your life. Mm. I heard Danielle or Daniela. Danny. Danisha. Veronica or Ronica, Ronnie, Roy, Rachel, your ex was involved, I heard Emily, your ex was involved in something and your parents took an oath, co-worker has a crush on you, all right, and somebody has light brown eyes, the letter W, X, Y, or Z, air sign is involved, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody here's child is dealing with a bully at school, so somebody's choosing to homeschool their child. Somebody lied on paper on you and they're getting exposed. It says lied on paper. Brown eyes. Somebody could have brown eyes. Light brown eyes. All right. Somebody's uh, trying to get a hold of your identification. They need your signature. They need your ID. Oh, my gosh. This family of warlocks is under judgment. An important phone call is going to leave you shocked. All right, it could be about your children. It could be from a child or you're getting an important phone call here. It could be about a child or from a child. All right, somebody secretly watches your social media. We already know that. Somebody's dealing with a slumlord, doesn't want to fix a property. Somebody's suing their landlord, auntie. There's an auntie here. Broken window or broken glass here. Somebody could have short blonde hair. We could have... Uh, Long hair, it could be like blonde, it could be red, it could be light blonde, dirty blonde, dark skinned females here. You, wow, you had a lot of childhood trauma. Confession, somebody's going to confess that they're gay. Confession, I'm gay, that's what it says, confession here. This is my confession. Dun, uh, 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 one on the way. Somebody could have got somebody else pregnant, they need to confess. Somebody else could be just... Confessing they're bisexual. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. You're getting official mail. An earth sign with neck tattoos, late night texts. Somebody's doing background checks on you or someone else. Wow. Somebody here, you're, you need to write your book. You could be a famous author or you have a famous author. Is one of your ancestors is giving you the memo to write your book. All right. Or to write something down. I feel like somebody here, you were meant to write a book. That's not for everybody. All right, my loves. This is your message. Let me pull a couple love oracle cards. Somebody here feels unappreciated. Somebody made you feel unappreciated. Somebody created a soul tie with you. You need to clear that out. All right. Somebody's feeling very guilty because of what they did. They were holding back from telling you the truth, from giving you the information. They know that, you know, you were in a tough spot or position. They left you out in the with the wolves. They didn't care. This uh, mother figure or father figure is having a lot of guilt right now because they didn't protect you from something. All right, they were a part of this agenda in your life. And somebody in your life is also in a dark space because they didn't come towards you when they had the chance. Now they're overwhelmed finding out you're with somebody else, with somebody new or talking to someone else. You know, somebody else is giving you an offer or you already are dealing with someone else. Somebody here, you could be a different nationality than you. Somebody wants to equal give and take reciprocity. But this person really left you damaged and destroyed or somebody's really damaged from being with a karmic. This person does is in a dark space. And then you cannot save this person. This person did not come towards you, did not appreciate you, did not do the right thing by you. 
They ended up with a karmic that destroyed them. Now they're both damaged because they was trying to come for you. Your ancestors sat these two people down and, and made them think for a minute. Like, think about what you guys were doing to this earth angel, trying to destroy this earth angel star seed. Now sit down and take a minute to reflect. Okay, this is what I'm getting from this card. And every time I pull a card, I get a different message. But they're, these two karmics are damaged because they tried to damage you. Now they're seeing the mistakes they made or somebody signed paperwork, tried to incriminate you or did something fraudulently. They're catching these mistakes and this person could be going to court or could be getting some sort of summons. Or you're just getting the truth about what somebody did with your documents or paperwork. All right, my loves, this is your reading. I love you guys. Happy Christmas Eve. Hope you guys have a beautiful, blessed day. If you guys are interested in personal, reach out to me. All right, if you're interested in liquid gold, crown chakra protection spray, reach out to me. Thank you so much for your love. Donations are super thanks. Till the next time, my loves, namaste.